What issues do you see in the world? What issues do you see in your world, neighborhood, in your community? What would you change? What do you think they would change? Today I am talking about the problems I see in my community and how I can change them. In my community, there are some problems. In my community. In my community, I see people who don't have the things they need. It costs too much to go to the doctor. The problems I see. Sometimes kids need someone to talk to. Kids are not staying in school. The problems I see. Drugs. When people are mean. The problems I see. There are some really bad drivers. In my community, there are people who don't have anywhere to live. More babies should be born healthy. There are grown-ups who don't know how to read. Sometimes people don't feel safe. Everything is connected. In fact, a person's level of education is a key factor in the determination of income, self-sufficiency, and well-being. I imagine. That's why Lubbock Area United Way developed the Education Matters Initiative. I imagine a community where everyone can read. Through the power of education, we can turn back the tide of growing community issues like child abuse, illiteracy, and poverty. I imagine a place where everyone is safe and all kids can learn and grow. The Education Matters Initiative focuses on breaking negative cycles and creating opportunities for people at every stage of life. It works to make sure babies are born healthy and children are ready to start school, help young people graduate from high school and move on to a bright future, and help adults achieve their educational goals and ultimately independence. I imagine a community where everyone has a fair start. Through the Education Matters Initiative and alongside our 23 community partner agencies, we are working to change lives for the better. We can't fix everything. But imagine if you could change the world. The reality is that you can. What do you imagine? As with any project, there were many people involved in the video, and it was hard for me to believe that a short lunch at Gardsky's could turn into a great video, but let me thank the appropriate people. Uh, the video was produced pro bono by Gary Bain at G-Man Creative and in association with No Miscommunications. So if you would, please help me recognize Gary Bain, president of the G-Man Creative and member of the 2010 Marketing Committee for United Way and Ken Davis, the chair of the 2010 United Way Marketing Committee and president of No Miss. Thank you, guys.